teacher Janelle. I hope that you're all doing great wherever you are right now and brace yourself for another educational experience, another learning experience with me. I'm going to talk about the foundations or how to plan, how to lay out your writing activity, especially persuasive and argumentative essays, argumentative and persuasive writing. First, of course, we're going to have to talk about the difference between the persuasive and argumentative. If I am your teacher, I would, of course, begin with a persuasive essay or persuasive writing before we go on writing the argumentative. So what is a persuasive writing? Persuasive writing is the lighter version of the argumentative, but it's lighter in a sense that it is not really packed with facts and information. If you're writing a persuasive essay, you don't need to go dig on so much facts because it is lighter on facts, but heavier on emotions, heavier on descriptive words to appeal to emotions, to beliefs of an individual. So if I'm going to ask you to write first, of course, I'm going to have to make you write about what you feel, how you feel about certain topics and convince people to believe in what you also believe in. If you are tasked to write an argumentative essay or prepare you for any argumentative writing, it is similar to persuasive in a sense that you still have an opinion and you're going to defend that opinion by presenting information, not by appealing to emotions. So if it's persuasive, there is a bit of anger there and this uh, effort to convince your readers. While in argumentative, there is uh, a stand that is pointed out by the writer, but is presented through an array of facts, information, or testimonies of other people that could support your argument. Though you want to convince your readers to believe in what you believe, but you're doing it in a subtle way, but presenting information. However, in argumentative, you want your readers to decide whether to agree with you or not. But of course, as a writer, you already have made sure that they are going to be on your side because you presented information, facts. But then again, you're doing it subtle way. The subtle way of convincing them is to make them realize than making them do it because they have no other options to. So in writing, it is important that you already have a topic in mind. So before you're going to jump into writing, you have to align your thoughts as to what topic are you going to talk about. So you have to go through a lot of thinking. Maybe perhaps you could read articles about some stuff, um, watch the news, watch videos, watch information, testimonies. And once you have made up your mind about a topic you want to talk about, you want to write about, then I have a matrix prepared for you. Though I did not invent this matrix though, but this is what I feel most comfortable using when I'm writing an argumentative and a persuasive essay or a content article in that matter. This is called supporting reasons matrix. Supporting reasons. Why reasons? Why are we focused on reasons in writing essay? Well, it is because it is always easy to formulate opinions. It is always easy to say something, but it's always difficult to prove it, to prove why you think so. It's difficult to prove your arguments. So that is why you have to lay them out. We plan them so that when you're going to be writing, you're doing it in an organized manner. And because you are plotting your reasons in this matrix, it would be easy for you to see if your reasons are interrelated or is the other one a repetition of the first one or is there redundancy or are you beating around a bush? So this matrix has a title. Of course, that is the title of your essay or your article. But of course, you can just do it in the later part, there are writers who write their titles after they have written the contents. That actually depends on which you are comfortable. 
Okay, so as for me, sometimes I am comfortable writing the title first. Well, I write the title first, but eventually it will change, especially that in the course of my arguments, in the course of my discussion, I see changes in how I thought, how I thought it at first. So eventually that title will change, but that is okay. Because as for me, when I write the title first, I already have a guiding, like a, I have a, a Polaris, a guiding star to go where my um, article should go or my essay should go. If I am going to be your teacher, I would ask you to write your topic or you want to write about so that I could see the relatedness of the things you wrote in your matrix. Okay. It would actually help me understand what you are trying to point out. Then your opinion. Oh, by the way, when you are going to uh, use this matrix, you don't need to be wordy. You can actually write phrases and short sentences. Don't write paragraphs in the matrix. You reserve that when you are going to be writing your essay. The purpose of this is to plot the information that you are going to put in your essay. You lengthen them once they are in your essay already. Or in your article okay so you have there opinion reason one reason two reason three and the conclusion that would also say that there are five paragraphs in this essay introduction reason one reason two reason three and the conclusion so that's five paragraphs that is standard essay for junior high school so if you are in grade school um, three paragraphs is the most basic for you. so let's see let's begin first with a persuasive content with the persuasive uh, writing so as I told you when you're writing for persuasive when you are persuasive you are attacking emotions the beliefs of your reader to be on your side of the story okay so let's see I have here a sample and uh, if you have seen my videos, you already have heard this when I read this content article. This is my article that I wrote for Owl Press, Breaking the Latches of Presaging Chain Messages. Remember that article that I read in British accent? Yeah. Okay, so here it is. So you have their title, the Breaking the Latches of Presaging Chain Messages, then a topic that is about the spread of chain messages. Then the opinion that I am going to support, the opinion that I'm going to support, that I'm going to talk about in this entire essay is about the false impressions about penance and indulgence brought about by the spread of chain messages. So if I'm going to read it, the spreading of chain messages is a false impression about penance and indulgence. My opinion, if you recall my video about fact, opinion, belief, and prejudice, this is an opinion because this is based on facts, information, and some information and testimonies. This is very viable and debatable. In this essay, I am going to present to you the reasons, the information that would go to support my opinion so that you cannot say that this is all half-baked, okay? The spreading of the chain messages is a false impression about penance and indulgence. This is my opinion. I'm going to prove it. Okay. What reasons do I have for believing so or for saying so? Reason number one, it appeals to superstition and religious beliefs. I'm going to talk about that reason in second paragraph. Reason number two, it promotes fear of punishment. Reason number three, it promises blessings. For the conclusion, these are all manifestations of the lack of faith. All these statements, they are my guiding points when I'm going to write my essay. I'm going to show you how. So let's begin with opinion. Let's see how it is. There. That's my opinion. The spreading of chain messages is false impression of penance and indulgence. And I'm going to write that in my introduction. So, if you're going to see it there, Christianity is the greatest legacy of the Spaniards to the Filipinos amidst all the maltreatment, there are blah, 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 blah. That is my opening statement, my, the opening of my introduction. Then, my thesis, or my opinion, to simplify it, our ancestors, hang on, 
The way they taught our ancestors the practices of our religion may have contributed so much on the impressions of the Filipinos about penance and indulgence. Of course, before you are going to end your introduction or any paragraph, you always have a closing statement. So, say for instance, the alarming propagation of the chain messages, especially those that imply penance and indulgence in a bribing manner. The closing statement is not written to close the entire essay. Your closing statement is to put a closure to the paragraph, but in the same way, making an opening to the next one. Reason 1. This now is found in paragraph 2. So you're going to go back to your matrix. You see reason one there? That is what you're going to talk about in your second paragraph, paragraph two. So you to talk about how chain messages appeal to superstition and religious beliefs. So this is now your chance to support your argument. This is now the beginning of how you're going to hook your readers into being in your side by appealing, of course, to emotions. In order to appeal to emotions, you need to use words, descriptive words. In other words, your persuasive essay, this is a bit subjective. Yes, it is subjective because it depends on who is writing. It depends on who is writing. So if I'm writing this, this is objective on my point of view. But if you believe me, Perhaps you can believe me because of the way I presented it and how I made you uh, see the situations by pointing out to your religion and to your belief of certain things. Because I am appealing to that, perhaps you could be in my side. Here, I have made a presentation of advantages before I talk about the reason. Then, of course, the supporting arguments. There, you can actually read that. Okay, your supporting arguments, and don't forget your closing statements, closing for this paragraph and opening for the next. Okay, so like uh, an in-between line. Next, reason two. Your reason number two, it was, it promotes fear of punishment. So that was the second reason why I thought that the spread of chain message is a false impression about penance and indulgence. Uh, by the way, it is actually your own on your own um, creativity how you're going to present your opinion, how you're going to put your reason in the paragraph. You don't have to follow how I did it in my own because that is my way of arranging my thoughts too. So that's there, punishment. Yeah. I have supporting arguments, of course. Mm -hmm. So that is a clear showcasing of an appeal to emotion. I am certain this is not what the church teaches, an appeal to religion. Reason three, my reason for believing that it's a false impression is because it promises blessings. So the word promise itself would mean that or, or would connote that or insinuate that or insinuate that there must be something going on. So, it promises blessings. What's wrong with blessings? Nothing is wrong with blessings as long as it is not meant... There's nothing wrong with blessings because we pray for blessings every day. We just have to make sure that um, our intention of sharing the blessings does not mislead our fellow men because, of course, we might be leading them astray a similar format with reason two so reason first and the supporting arguments then the closing statement the closing statement again which closes this paragraph but gives an opening to the next one conclusion so after presenting all the reasons why i thought that these are all false impressions about penance and indulgence i say these are all manifestations of the lack of faith so in the conclusion part there are some uh, points that you need to consider this is persuasive writing, so in order to assure that you have been convincing or you have persuaded your readers, you must put a call to action. What do you want your readers to do after listening to your arguments? This, uh, this one is not really written for um, a an essay for school. This one I wrote as a content article, so you might see some... Uh, 
difference in the way I put the the paragraphs and separate some. It still works even now to end with a question, like a cliffhanger, stuff like that. So that was a persuasive essay. So persuasive writing. Let's recall, let's recall. Persuasive writing, you need an opinion. You have to prove it. You make arguments and your discussion would point out with appeal to emotions. In the same manner, you want the readers to feel your side and be on your side and to feel what you feel by using descriptive words. Words that would trigger their emotions as well. Okay, So they are going to believe you because perhaps they have the same encounters with you. So how you're going to do that is part of your creativity as a writer. Alright, so it's time for the argumentative argumentative essay or argumentative writing. So argumentative, it still, ha it still has its foundations in persuasive writing minus the emotions. So there's not much emotions here because you are not trying to convince people. You are not trying to convince people by using their emotions. You convince them by using facts, by using information, testimonies. That is your attack in this type of writing. Okay, so similar to persuasive because you still have an argument and you want to convince, but the way you convince is different. You convince, you are so eager to convince when you do the persuasive. In argumentative, you want to convince, but you present facts and you leave your reader to decide to believe you or not. But beneath all of it, you would want your reader to believe you. That is why you presented information, you presented facts. Alright, so we have here an argumentative writing, argumentative essay. This is still an argumentative um, content article because again, I wrote it for Overpress. So it's a content article. But basically, this is argumentative writing. Okay, so what's our topic? Online learning during the pandemic. So it's entitled e-learning a momentary educational platform in the time of COVID-19 pandemic. If you want to read the entire article, you can just click the links below for this article in Overpress. Okay. The opinion I have, so similar to similar to persuasive, there is still an opinion. We still have to base this on an opinion. Okay. Education need not stop in the time of this COVID-19 pandemic. Why should it stop? So that's my opinion. And I want to prove it to you that I am right. That we should go on going to school even if we're not going to the building to learn. So we go to school but we can do it at home. So we are learning at home and e-learning is like a momentary educational platform. Which is a momentary solution. So why should I say that education need not stop? Because there is a solution. So one of those reasons is, one of those uh, ways is the distance education via online learning or e-learning. It is an option as temporary mechanism. We're waiting for the conclusion of the pandemic. That's my first reason. Second reason, rescheduling the opening of classes may be unwise. Because of course, yeah, for reason number one, there is a way to do education. So why reschedule? Then three, might as well make screen time worthwhile and productive. Yep. Okay, then conclusion, do not allow this pandemic to put education on hold. So education continues. Nothing can put on hold education, especially in this time of the internet era. Okay, so let's see how it is in the content article. Let's begin with opinion. You, as you can see now that um, the opinion is longer compared to persuasive. Yes, your persuasive essay need not to be very long. Yes, it's still five paragraphs, but each uh, the paragraphs are not lengthy. Unlike the argumentative, which could go more than five paragraphs and they are a bit lengthy because of course of the information that you put there. So your opinion is the same. There is an opening statement, opening discussion, then your thesis, your opinion, your closing statement. That is about that is so much similar to persuasive. Okay, so I don't need to talk more about that. Then reason number one. 
there. Immediately, I put reason number one for believing so. Why should it not be put on hold? Because distance learning is an answer. So by observation, you'd see how lengthy the paragraphs are now. See, uh, you see numbers there. You see Department of Education, the Debit Common, the DICT Free Wi-Fi for All program. So it would hint that there are some discussions about arguments concerning facts, concerning information. Okay, of course, those information must be relevant to your opinion. Because if they are just there to make your paragraph lengthy, might, might as well just delete that. Okay, next... Rescheduling the opening of classes may be unwise. So again, I still have started the reason there at the beginning of the paragraph. And you see the, the lengthier explanation compared to your persuasive writing. And don't forget the closing statement. Okay. Reason number three, we are now in paragraph four. So this is the, the paragraph four of your argumentative essay. So our reason number three was might as well make screen time worthwhile okay so still it's lengthy compared to persuasive supporting arguments there it is it started with the supporting arguments before i pointed out or restated or stated clearly my reason for saying so so i began i started with the arguments first then another another supporting arguments right after presenting um, right after presenting the reason and of course a closing statement for the conclusion do not allow this pandemic to put an education on hold must just say i'm putting my convincing to a track that would lead you to nod your head and say all right yeah i get you okay so the difference is in argumentative there is no call to action because i would want you to decide as a writer, I would want you to decide whether you should agree with me or not. Though I have gone the extra mile to make sure that you will believe me. Okay? Last. And since you are writing uh, an argumentative essay, it would also be uh, better if you include references to make your um, facts solid. Because this is supposed to be verifiable, so then you provide your readers a tool for verification. And the very best tool is your references. Okay, So you provide references so that they could verify your claims. So that's it. Before you begin writing your essay, you plot it first. Because that is like organizing your thoughts. You put them in a matrix and organize your thoughts through putting all the reasons together and you have time to think about each one of them and that is possible for you to make a conclusion based on the reasons you have okay so when you're going to write reasons you always go back to your opinion why do you think so because number one number two number three okay so that's about it folks that is how to use the supporting reasons matrix. And I would say that I hope this matrix would ensure that your article is really going somewhere. Because if you fail to because if you fail to organize your thoughts and to plot your reasons, to plot your arguments, you might be going or beating around the bush without you knowing it. Another tip, since the argumentative essay or article or this argumentative writing requires you information, facts from other sources. It does not mean that you have to copy paste what your sources say. Remember to always paraphrase, paraphrase to avoid plagiarism. Okay, so not because you have placed the references below your article, you're free of plagiarism. That may not be true entirely. So to be safe, and of course, to be respectful of others' works, you rephrase. You rephrase. Do not copy-paste exactly. Except, of course, if you're copying a, a quote, directly copying a quote, depending on how you intend to use it in your article. I hope that uh, this has become a worthwhile time for your learning, for your education, and especially for your writing. All of us, we may not be writers in the future, but I know that we would all land a job and in this job we would need to be 
organized. And the skill you learn from this matrix, you're going to use them whichever job you land in. Your organization skills, this is what we're pointing out. Not because I want you to be writers, solely become writers. But this one is also very helpful to writers. But for non-writers, do not think that this is useless for you. The skill, remember the skill. So, for now, ta-ta guys! See you in my videos! Ta-ta!